All right, we're ready. The Crystal Super starts shipping from April 7th. We're super happy with the clarity, brightness, field of view, stereo overlap, software stability and the inside out tracking performance. And this whole experience is incredible. We're doing the final tweaks in the software and this is the most mature Pimax headset to ever start shipping. We would have liked to start shipping earlier, but in January we decided to tweak the ergonomics and in this month we still found some ways to improve the color performance of the panels. We're ready now. So here today, let's discuss some more topics in depth. First, the field of view and the binocular overlap. And I want to show these QLED panels because they're so big. Micro OLED panels have their own advantages, but these QLED panels are large. And that's also a big advantage. With these big panels and our advanced optical design, as we're now using glass lenses for over three years, we do not need to sacrifice stereo overlap to achieve a wider field of view. In fact, we can get a huge field of view, super high brightness and a fantastic stereo overlap with them. And with 29 million pixels, it's also a super high clarity. It's actually the widest field of view with the biggest stereo overlap of any headset. The horizontal field of view is up to 135 degrees. The vertical field of view is 110. And diagonal, even though I don't think this is a very good metric to use, but other brands are now using this as their field of view metric. Our diagonal FOV is 160 degrees. The Super has around 105 degrees stereo overlap, which is the highest of VR headsets out there. Such a high stereo overlap it helps your brain fuse together the images from both eyes and creates a more realistic depth perception. This and a wider field of view, it's truly immersion like nothing else. Since the stereo overlap is so high, there will be a mode in Pimax Play to boost the field of view a little bit at the cost of some stereo overlap. Both modes work well and users can choose which one to use. The lenses are made of optical glass with great optical qualities. It's a single element lens, so light does not need to go back and forth inside the lens. And this prevents glare and god rays and also gives a much higher brightness. Pancake lenses, because they use polarizing reflective surfaces, can only get around 15-10% to 10 of the light from the panels into the user's eye, meaning that most of the light is lost. Glassospheric lenses are 99% transparent, meaning nearly all of the light from the panels reaches the user's eye. This makes the visuals on the Super look incredibly crisp as it brings out all the details. The Super's brightness is way higher than previous Pimax headsets and way, way higher than Pancake headsets. It's extremely hard to go back to any other headset once you've used this. Then, as you may have seen, the Super now has a top strap from front to back rather than side to side on the forehead. We received almost unanimous feedback from the beta testers and the visitors at CES that the previous solution was complicated to dial in and did not offer as much comfort as the Crystal Light. With this solution, there is a much better ergonomic hold and stability during movement and great comfort in long sessions. Like, I like to do long stints in eye racing. However, with this layout, we sadly cannot fit eye relief onto the headset. So this feature is replaced by different face pads with different thicknesses that come into the box. This replaces the eye relief function and has a similar effect so that everyone can get a good fit for their eyes. Let's continue. We have released 3D models with third parties so they can make prescription lenses. And you can also download these if you like via the link in the description. The Lighthouse faceplate cover for base station tracking is being designed and will probably be available for purchase in May or June. Now let's talk a bit about Pimax Play. Eye tracking made together with Toby is operational. Automatic IPD works as well as dynamic foveated rendering. And this is great because it has just been announced as a feature from Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. Pimax Play for the Super also has upscaling mode. We have redone part of the algorithm from the Crystal and Crystal Lite to accommodate the resolution of the Crystal Super. Another thing to highlight is the DisplayPort cable. Many people are asking us about this because the RTX 5090 is out, which has a DisplayPort 2.1. The thing is though, a headset isn't just a cable and panels. There's a lot of image processing that goes on on board to ensure high refresh rates without image compression like color banding. Right now, there is no high band bridge IC for DP to MIPI conversion available in the industry that supports DP 2.1. The highest version of any VR headset right now is 1.4a, which is what the Super uses. That said, 
There is enough bandwidth on the DisplayPort 1.4a to accommodate the native resolution of the Crystal Super without visual compression. The Super is already in production and will soon ship out to warehouses around the world before going to users. We would like to extend the original pre-order gift to the month of April. If you order the Crystal Super 50 ppd now, you get free DMOS headphones and the different thicknesses of foam and free shipping to selected regions. We will also add the comfort top strap, which like the Dimas earphones, you can choose to install. Another thing to note is that extended warranty will be on purchase for those that would like to get that. If you have pre-ordered the 57 PPD QLED version, but wish to change to the 50 PPD QLED, simply contact our customer support and they will change it for you. We count down towards the shipping as the factory is now producing the first batch. We're looking forward to getting this into your hands. It's an incredible headset with extremely high resolution, field of view, stereo overlap and brightness, way higher than anything for consumers out there.